charge of in charge of crime. Now you do OCS. You can't. You don't have to be told. Uh, that shows the level clearly. Katika Jeshi, Katika Jeshi, one thing Jeshi in a fanya. Nikupewa uniform, nakupewa pembe out science, uh, uniform ambao level zake zinanena. You can tell na huyu sasa ni brigadier. Na huyu sasa ni chief of the general staff. Na huyu sasa ukiagalia ndiye mkuu wa jeshi la inchikavu hata langi. Ukiagalia langi ya army sio langi ya navy na sio langi ya air force. Hallelujah. Mungu tunayemtumikia kuna kitu kimoja agataka uelewe kwamba agataka kukuvika utukufu so clear kwamba any force of darkness any person in this world bila kuangalia bila kuambiwa anasema and this one must be and this one must be na leo nimekuja kuambia kwamba utoke katika confusion Ate utukufu wa sehemu inaofaa. You receive the clear distinction and the mark of the status of authority. Kwa maana mungu agetaka kukubatisha cheo. In just Christ's name. Hallelujah. And therefore, kama buwana aishivyo. Buwana agetaka kuwajiria ishara ya levo yako ya cheo jamamulaka katika urimuengu wa roho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na nataka kuuliza kivi. Askari ambao ni chief inspector. Praise the Lord. Hupenda sana kuvaa nguo na mavazi ya chief inspector. Na akitembea kwa barabara sio tu nguo zake zinaongea hivyo. Hata ukienda police station, ofisi yake inaongea hivyo. Na hata moyoni mwake anajua yeye ni chief inspector. Hallelujah. Leo kieda kwa inspector general wa Kenya. Nakumbuka tulijuana kwa kijana. Lakini sasa hatuonani. Hatuonani. You, you, you see now, praise the Lord. Inspector general anajijua the other day, I, I, I saw him akienda Kiganjo Training College ya police. Shirina sema kwamba yeye akona independent authority. Akasema wewe ni superintendent. Wewe ni chief superintendent. Na we, just that. Nikafanyika. Anajijua. Sio tumavazi, anajijua. Let me say this, friends. Kuna mama tu ya maana sana brothers and sisters hawezi kuwa na mamlaka ikose kuonekana ukose kuyajua na ukose kuyatumia na mtu aliyepewa nguvu na Mungu aliye hai you know it you practice it na unaenenda kwa hiyo chia for instance do you know bwana kikuinua tuende kununua nguo Tunua nini? Guo. Tuseme leo baba kingoli wewe ni nabii mkubwa. <laughs> Utaendo tukae kununua nguo tusema and this one is not good for a prophet. Nitataka kusema mabere ya maelfu ya watu. Niwaambie Jehovah niambia na hii nguo haifai. Kwa nabii anayeambia watu kuwa Mungu. Si ni kwetu wapendwa. Hallelujah. One time gari yangu iliharibika. No it ilikuwa imeenda uh, service. Now, tulikuwa na gari ingine kwa nyumba, gari dogo netu wa laumu. Kakari kazuri sana, kadogo. So, siku wa nataku subo wa duda wa dada wa ambia we nipe gari yako. So, I told my wife, let me use this car. Watch it to me a laumu. Nikaja, nikaja, nikaipaki pale. That day, nilikuwa nimealikuwa kufungua a very big cathedral in Dagulit. 
cathedral nyumba imejengwa eh na kibishop so mhm mm the issue is sanane nikaenda kugurumisha laum laum ni kaka kizuri sana kwa dada mkienda shopping na kwa very fast ukienda thika road lakini i found a baba jima kanyambia bishop are you going naenda kwa cathedral please please uruhusu nikupatie radi cruiser yangu naipatia driver kusema asante na yeye aliongozwa jameni wakati nilienda the expected of course gari ya bishop ni gari ya maana so protocol in gojia bali parking ya gari yangu ilikuwa kubwa the expected a big car <laughs> na majirani wangu walikuwa na v8 Lord Cruiser Prado the expected gari ya bao niko naye at least iwe jirani ya hizo I thank God dua inurumia kadipa siku hiyo Lord Cruiser Ninge... na kuambia kuna gari nikienda naye watu wasikia hata kama wananipenda I'm not qualified hata kama kiroho iko I'm not kwa maana wapendo msidaganyike kama mamlaka iko ndani lazima itokee wapi nje kwa maana mamlaka iko na quality kuna quality fulani ambao the authority will demand in just Christ name hallelujah leo president ruto akija hapa hata kama atanyenyekeaje ukweli wa kuwa yeye ni president hawezi kumtoka kuna kitu tampatia akalie dakika tano zikiisha amke aseme i'm not comfortable hata kama atakwambia tuma i'm not comfortable praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe and that's why wanadana na protocol eh kama hamko tayari kumpokea protocol na mwambia now president the situation vile naonekana these people are not lady na atahiriza safari and therefore in the name of the lord the lord want to release in your hands in your heart in your business in your marriage in your family a status of authority kuna mambo utakataa katika watoto wako kuna mambo utakataa mu, katika mke wako kuna mambo utakataa katika akili yako kwa sababu mamlako kipewa na bwana aliye hai utayajua utayasikia na utayatumia pigeni yesu makofi ni vizuri tufahamu kwamba Yesu Kristo the problem tuko nao ni wa Kristo kukosa kujua kwamba Yesu ni Bwana na ako na mamlaka katika dunia hii ya kawaida na katika dunia ya kiroho Jesus is has authority in the natural and in the spiritual world na kitu kimoja hebu ni katika ulimwengu wa roho Let's see some scriptures. I love to turn there. Kitab cha Romans. Warumi. Aha, trusting that uko na Biblia yako. Mhm. 13 aya kwanza. Na kila mtu na ati mamlaka iliyo juu. Kwa maana hakuna mamlaka isiyo toka kwa Mungu. Na ile iliyopo na ile iliyopo imeamuliwa na Mungu Every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there's no power but of God the powers that be are ordained of God Bwana ainue saidi Now what is the bible saying Bible inasema msikubali kudaganyika. Iwe kwamba Wakristo wanaamini kwamba Kristo aweza kuokoa lakini serikali ya Kenya governor wa Nairobi Hello praise God. Familia yako, kampani yako, 
eh gari yako mali yako ikose kuwa chini ya mamlaka i'm saying this ni hatari kubwa sana kufanya kristo kuwa na mamlaka kiroho na tukose kujua ana mamlaka hata juu ya chuma kama hizi hiyo vitu mekalia na juu ya serikali let me say this kile kilifanya muone akina daniel wakibadilisha serikali kule babylon is because they believed that their god is above babylon their god is above nebuchadnezzar hallelujah hawakuacha nebuchadnezzar na serikali yake alipo watu na sanamu na wao wakajificha pahali kanisani wakasema jehova ni wetu tumeacha sasa nebuchadnezzar haribu hapana hata kama aliwachukua juda wakiwa wakuwa vijana vijana ambao ni watumwa when they went there Daniel had this faith kwamba even the king should be under my god haleluya and that's why mnaona kuna watu serikali kiharibika they are provoked wasema no president there's something wrong with you haleluya wanasema wana siasa there's something wrong with you in other words ndani ya kanisa kwatakiwa kila mtu awe na hali ya kujua kwamba hakuna mamlaka yatakiwa kukaa as if Mungu wetu hai, hayuko juu yake we must tell pretentious we must tell our neighbors we must tell hata wale tunakutana na family members that our god has authority over natural over politics and over spiritual Eh hey, we need to have the right faith friends. Tuliacha mambo mengine nje ya mwokozi tukabaki na kiroho kwamba hata watu wakiwawa no 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 friends mnapomba bring all authority bring all principalities and all powers under Christ. Tell people there's no authority kama Mungu akupeana. That's why Kristo alipoenda pirato alimwambia ni Mungu amekuketisha hapo as god my god has given you that seat hallelujah hallelujah to god be the glory to god be the glory wakati umefika ukisikia wakora wanaua watu huko useme ninaleta bahati chini ya Yesu i'm not leaving anything ambao iko duniani hii chini ya mwingine we need to know that and that's why let me ask a question let me ask a question wakati kristo alifufuka akasema hivi if you check in the book of matthew matthew 28 verse 1 kristo bible sema hivi aha the 28 verse 18 matthew 28 verse 18 nasema hivi He did the first statement Kristo aliongea after his resurrection wa alipoita mkutano akasema and Jesus came and spoke to them saying all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth Hallelujah Umeajiriwa kazini Manager wako umemuacha wewe ndio umeokoka wokovu wako ni wako your manager umemuacha aibe atese wengine aharibu asichana kazini aangushe kazi awatazwe anataka as you pray bring that manager at Jesus i say we need to have this kind of mind all authority including ata ya chief ata ya luto ata ya biden ata ya putin all authority is given to Jesus in heaven and on earth. Na tuambia watu mahali umekalia ni sehemu ya earth, mahali unakaa ni sehemu ya earth na Kristo ndiye amepa mamlaka. Wakati umefika wa Kristo walete duniani chini ya mokozi. Tumeiacha sana, tumeiacha sana. Tumeiacha sana. Even today kuna watu hapa. Eh? Mamra kiroho yako ni hapa tu kuabudu. Kwako kwa nyumba kumekaa kama Jehanam. Musana about mezaa 
na wewe ni baba yake you know adiwa one time kuna pastor moja wetu alikuwa amekaa kwa nyumba yake akasikia rumu moja hapo nyuma kumewekwa nyumba nyimbo za hip hop na zingine baa zaidi kompo dote na huruma akauliza mke wake hizo nyibo ziko kwa neighbor au ziko kwa compound yangu akamwambia ni kama ni wako akia mama mama rudia nani acha kemani yeye aha akamwambia fanya hivi leta ile photo album na uleta ile picha tulipigwa tulichukuliwa tukipeana kimani kwa Yesu kwa madhabahu wekerera hapa eno ambia kimani aje hapa kimani akaitwa saa hiyo mzee yuliite huu mzee na mzee mfupi na mjua aliguruma gai kadi mzee hata hakuoga alimwambia kimani wewe wao sasa baba mimi wako eh nani walikuleta duniani kama sawa limegidi ambao ni nyinyi na mama hey. nani alikupeana ali kwetu ni Mungu sawa mama leta picha kimani unafikiri nini hii naona kama ni wewe akiwa huko mzee sana mm. unafikiri hapa tuko tunacheza akasema kimani kama Yehova ishivyo na mimi niko hai ustumikie Mungu mwingine na hiyo tabia ikome mtoto akaaguka hapo akalia huu kijana alilia na akaokoka haleluya this that boy kama kuna mtu ametii Mungu na baba yake ni yeye after some time akaenda South Africa Durban akaona apostolic faith akaripot kwa kanisa moja kubwa sana ya wahindi apostolic faith Durban very big church na alireport kwa madhabahu kabia pastor baba yangu ni mhubiri this is my church and i want to serve god here akawa in charge of music na keyboard and the boy is blessed so much amejegea baba yake nyumba ya bedroom afiki bedroom sita roiro akafanya harusi ya maana wako pamoja na baba yake katika maono na huduma Ma, let me say this tunasukumwa wapendo wazazi kuna kitu kinatusukuma mpaka things are getting out of control in a way that unapata wewe mzazi saa hii ukiangalia wazazi wengi wako na blood pressure shukari imepanda sio bei kwa mo, kwa mwili <laughs> eh yeah? blood pressure na wale wanapata blood pressure ni watu kutoka 45 55 waenda mpaka 60 no kuangalia ni mambo ya family hasa watoto na kile kinakusumbua ni kwamba kuna mambo ilikataa mamlaka kuna mambo ilikataa control kuna kitu kilitoka nje nami nawaambia hatuna kitu kingine twataka kujua all authority has been given to Jesus Christ in heaven and earth tutaomba mpaka hili neno liwe na nguvu Eh yeah, tutaomba mpaka chochote kinatuhusu kikubali hakuna mamlaka ilibaki nje Kristo asema kwa maana nimeshinda kifo na kifo ndio adui wa mwisho all authority niko naye na katika Revelation chapter 1:18 Kristo aka tamani kuelezea John the extent of authority number one, akasema katika kitabu cha ufunuo ukiangalia Ephesians verse 17 verse 17 Revelation chapter 1 verse 17 twende hapo sasa mhm and when i saw him i fell at his feet as dead amen we unamwona huyu Yesu watu wakimuona wanaanguka wanaanguka hello 
Bwana sana. I, I, I like that to see some two incidents when people fell before God. Ukagaria hii sehemu na hii msio let me read hii kae tu hivyo. Let me read you another one in the scripture wakati sasa katika kitabu cha wafalme wa kwanza that is chapter 18 utaona kwamba uh, wakati Elijah aliomba na Mungu akamjibu na moto ukiangalia sasa first kings chapter 18 verse 21 this is a man of god he want to bring people under god verse 21 na elia akawakaribia watu wote akanena mutasita sita katikati ya mawazo mawili hata lini bwana akiwa die mungu mfuateni bali ikiwa bali ikiwa bal bali die mungu haya mfuateni bwana asiwe sana haleluya na ukiangalia vizuri pale mwisho Aha. verse 28 bwana sema Vasdati kisha Elia akawaambia watu wote nikaribieni mimi watu wote wakamkaribia hakuna mtu amebaki nje hata president he is bringing people under authority watu wameasi mtu wa burki anataka usharata hapana nikaribieni and then Bible inasema kwamba akatengeneza madhabahu ya Bwana if you go to verse eh uh, verse 35 au twende chini kidogo verse 37 unisikie e bwana unisikie ili watu hao watu wajue ya kuwa ni wewe bwana wewe bwana diwe mungu na ya kuwa wewe umewageuzwa moyo wa kurudie praise the lord hallelujah Ukienda that is six Anasema e Bwana Mungu wa Ibrahimu na Isaka na Israeli na ijulikane leo ya kuwa wewe ndiwe Mungu katika Israeli. Bwana ainuliwe sana. Ndipo moto verse that eight. Ndipo moto wa Bwana ukashuka ukateketeza sadaka na kuteketeza kuni na mawe na mavumbi ukayalamba yale manji yaliokuwemo katika mfereji na watu wote walipoona wakaaguka kifundi fundi wakasema Bwana die Mungu Bwana die Mungu haleluya In the days of Elijah they fell and said Jehovah is God Jehovah is God When John saw Jesus glorified Jesus he fell at his feet Basa makwaba Mungu Kristo akamguza akamwambia do not be afraid I am the alpha and omega the first and the last verse, verse 18 Make sure you reading the scripture you are reading the scripture niangalia read the scriptures My brother unasoma Biblia unaandika wapi You must read the scriptures I am he who lives and I was dead and behold I am alive forevermore. I have keys to Hades and death. Now, tukimjua Yesu in that level, nataka tuamini leo katika meza ya Bwana kwamba chochote ambacho kimeasi mamlaka huu Mungu wetu. Leo katika meza ya Bwana we bring things under Jesus. Tumeachilia uchumi utukalie kwamba badala ya the lordship of Christ Tunalia kuna pesa paka bwana wa mabwana akinena tunakosa nafasi ya sauti yake kwa sababu ya hali wapendo we are the people to command things and authority pigenu yesu makofi bible nasema katika wakorosai wa kwanza wakorosai chapter 1 verse 15 colossians chapter 1 Aha. 
Bibia Sema, I, I hope you are there by God's grace. Aha. Nae ni mufano wa mungu asie onekana. Muzaliwa wa kwanza wa viumpe vyote. Kwa kuwa katika yeye vitu vyote viliumbwa. Ah, semeni vitu vyote. Semeni hivi katika yeye vitu vyote viliumbwa. Vilivyo mbinguni na vilivyo juu ya inchi vinavyoonekana na visivyoonekana. Ikiwa ni vitu vya enzi na ushultani au enzi au mamlaka vitu vyote viliumbwa kwa jia yake na kwa ajili yake hmm, nothing is left out i say nothing is left out hallelujah for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth visible and invisible whether thrones hata ya wale wanapiga na ukraine whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created through him and for him oh my god he is the lord he is the lord he is the lord leo nataka mpokea upako wa kuleta all things under him I say receive authority to bring all things under Christ. Oh my God. Kile kinakuumiza ni kile uliacha nje ya Kristo. Kile kinakuumiza ni ni kutokuamini kwamba hallelujah all things all things I say all things eh, were created that, that are in heaven on earth by him. Visible and invisible. Hallelujah. Thrones and dominions. What are your kitty yako supervisor na kuzubua? Thrones, dominions, principalities, and powers were created through him and for him. We want to bring our families for him. Na leo na wabieni chochote kinafanya uwe na blood pressure. Chochote kinafanya ukose ata amani. I said you nataka kutuamuru yo biyashara yako ikulatee faida. We are commanding that business to be profitable. We are commanding hallelujah. Wanao kuja kununua mashaba kwako na magari wakulipe. Isi hali ya kwamba people who buy goods from you make you slave. They should pay. Nataka sasa hiyo contract uko naye sasa ipitishwe sasa ndio niambie bishop thank god sasa contract ni petition nimelipo a down payment in jesus name hallelujah who walk to go now come kabisa i say all things were made for him and by him hallelujah you, you see ukiwa na hiyo attitude na and you are working in a factory you are working you are preaching the gospel you are conducting business that attitude demons you see it huyu ni ule mtu ambaye anaamini all things were made for Jesus and by Christ umaiona kazini ule mtu mpole sana ambaye haulizi anything eh watu wakimchezea wasema au haulizagi na ule mkali wasema we nani yuko leo ni Gabriel ni Koinange we ocho dada kaidero ni vizuri ijulikana hata na mapepo nani yako leo ni brand we huyu ndi yule anaamini all things were made by him and for him usimcheze let the powers of darkness know that in jesus name if you believe it say amen, amen. hallelujah na katika ulimwengu wa roho there are three categories za hali ya kiroho one ni dunia ya malaika ejos a jolly crowd ya pili ni kanisa la kristo na katika pia dunia ya kiroho kuna satanic kingdom a jolly host a jolly whatever kanisa la kristo ambao kristo die kichwa chake na pia ufaume wa shetani
shetani. Kristo die kichwa cha kanisa. Kristo ametukuka juu ya malaika. Na Kristo ako na uwezo juu ya gome zote shetani. Haleluya. Now, there's a story in the scripture katika Matthew chapter 8 and I hope maybe umai soma Matthew chapter 8 Matthew chapter 8 aha Matthew chapter 8 verse 7 Yesu akamwambia hebu tuanzie verse 5 Let's start from verse 5. Hata alipoingia Capernaum, akida moja alimuijia. Akamsihi akisema, "Bwana, mtumishi wangu amelala nyumbani, mgonjwa wa kupooza, anaumwa sana." Yesu akamwambia, "Nitakuja nimponye." I'll come and heal him. Verse 8. Matthew chapter 8 verse 8 Yule akida akamjibu akasema Bwana mimi sistahili wewe uingie chini ya dali yangu lakini sema neno tu na mtumishi wangu atapona haleluya Kwa maana mimi nami ni mtu niliyowekwa chini ya mamlaka mwenye askari chini yangu Nikimwambia huyu nenda huenda na huyu jo huja na mtumwa wangu fanya hivi hufanya. Amen. Now, kitu kimoja ambacho mtakao kujua Yesu ako nacho. Because ako na mamlaka sana. His word is final. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Do you know walio na mamlaka ni neno wanasema na linatenda kazi. Anapiga simu anasema nataka hiyo nyumba nipate imepagwa. Amesema neno. It has to be done. Hallelujah. Amen. Waweza kuwa uko na nyumba labda saa hii uko na mlaka unasema hiyo nyumba nataka hiyo milango iondolewe iwekwe milango fulani enda kampani fulani wabia waweke na waweka haraka you speak what things happen and one of the thing you should know <laughs> tumeambukizwa na Kristo is the is the authority of the spoken word sema so Jesus for you to heal You don't need to come. You don't need to come at uingie kwa gutu umekea mikono. You are so powerful kwamba wherever you are hata kama uko Australia unenee mgonjwa kwa Greenland it shall be done. Physical geography cannot hit the spiritual geography of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Kwako wewe ndio unaona kutoka hapa Mwangi kwenda UK wewe ulikuwa UK ni how many kilometers 8 how many miles 8000 Kwako ni 8000 na kusafiri kuingia ndege na ka 8 hours to Jesus hata hitaji kuingia ndege aende London ndio aponye aweza sema nimeamuru gome za anga abo nimesikia zinaharibu mungu zikome zinati what are you I say by the grace of God jitakaseni kuanzia leo for God want to put authority ya spoken word in you in Jesus name in Jesus name Hallelujah who has kasema I am a man of authority and have soldiers Anabia Jesus the way I know myself mimi ni mkubwa askari I don't struggle. Anasemaje? Nikiambia moja, go, anaenda. Mwingine, come, anakuja. Mwingine, do, and they do. Jesus, kama mimi niko hivyo katika jeshi, you are great in your kingdom. Speak a word. Speak a word. Hallelujah. 
Odoani maneno mengi kwa vinywa sasa. Dio bwana aweke pure words of authority. Odoani masengenyo na mawazo machafu. Dio bwana aweke pure word of authority. Odo masikio yako kwa suri za watu. Unijua one of the things watu wako nae ni ngano. Odoani hiyo. Be a priest. Bible talks about royal priesthood. Idi bwana aweke the word of authority in your mouth. And Uh, yesu alipoona ujamana muamini hivyo akasema Yesu alisema sema alistajabu akawaambia wale walio mfuata amini na wambieni sijaona imani kubwa namna hii kwa yoyote katika Israeli nami na wambieni you know because it was done immediately hallelujah Bwana asifiwe have you believed now let me say this as i finish now katika Luke chapter 10 verse 17 there's an issue here Luke chapter 10 verse 17 to 20 Luke chapter chapter 10 i hope you are there unaweza fika hapo haraka Luke chapter 10 verse 17 haya dipo ndipo wale sabini waliporudi kwa furaha wakisema Luke 10:17 Bwana hata pepo wanatutii kwa jina lako nataka muone the relationship Let me say something uh, maybe I'll preach that in second service How there are 70 disciples unajua Yesu alikuwa na 12 kuna kata ilitoma 70 na I'll teach how authority works at the Christ. But how are some even? Kristo kuna uhusiano tumeona. In your name. We did not know hatukujua kwamba if we go in your name we will be obeyed. You know the excitement is kwa hivi. The disciples walipoenda is as if they were telling demons demons we have been sent by Jesus and and uh, Matthew uh, and um, Bartholomew and the last wao walijua tu ni watu wa kawaida and they knew Kristo ndiye anakemea pepo hawakujua kwamba kwamba demons can come out in another way wakati mtu anatii Kristo mpaka his name works through you uh, let me uh, let me mwambie kitu kimoja hapa mnajua dio utumie jina la Yesu lifanye kazi you don't just take the name and use it you must obey the owner of the name <laughs> kama jashika dio leo nikija Eh? Yeah? Nitumie jina la president Luto. I must obey the owner of the name. I must be the friend of the owner of the name. I must be trusted by the owner of the name. I must be in the real center. Mahali nguvu zake ziko. Mahali anaweka wale wanamtrust sana. Wale anaamana. Mahali huwa naweka I must be there. Now I'll, I'll teach that maybe the second of that service because people kuna kitu watu hawajui. There's a time we kuna crusade Kisumu. And there's this brother and, and that's why I always tell ushers kama kuna watu nataka waombe sana ni ushers. You need to pray a lot. A lot. Na wale wako karibu na madhabahu. You see This preacher alikuwa bishop ako na crusade Kisumu. Amehubili. Sasa kuna watu Asha wamekuja pale na intercessors kumsaidia kazi. Akaona kuna ndugu mmoja haya anakemea pepo sema in the name of Jesus come out. And the demon will say in that name although demon is on jina gani I'm not coming out. Na pepo ikaanza kumnyonga kumuua Bishop akatoka juu akateremka. Akasema demon 
Mwachile ambia kinyana naondoka. Nini baya? Si ni pepo. Natumia jina Yesu hii si. Pasa aliangalia tu mmoja kupoka akasema, "Do you know me?" Just that. Do you know me? Pepo ekatembeka. Ah, we know you, we fear you. Unanijua e, in the name of Christ get out zikatoka. Let me tell something. Have you ever known any time you cast out demons, you are not a strange in the spiritual realm? Rejo sasa nyinyi mmekuwa kwa kazi zenu shughuli shughuli lakini katika ulimwengu wa roho mjulikani. Kwamba Bwana inuliwe. Bwana inuliwe. <laughs> You know, sometimes we wonder. You know, there's a there's a sister in this church. Something happened strange. And I just want to. I can't tell you why. Eh? I can't bear. Then I can't say. See, who you need to say? Did you That why. Who you why? Is a diviner. Is a very bad man. Is a very is a diviner. No one man a bill. When it's my people. Sasa another day akaalika dada moja wa kanisa ambia si uje uone mahali ni hata kanisa and you people you should be very careful with those invitations utekanisha urafiki na imani dada yetu akaenda akiwa kwa hiyo kanisa that man alitoka bere akaacha kaambia we we nimeambiwa umetoka kanisa la mtu anaitwa bishop Gatimu ukitoka hapa uende usiwahi muambie ulikuwa hapa ataniangamiza sasa mimi hata sijui i don't know him thus it is ni kitu wa katika ulimwengu wa nini wa roho you know need to struggle wapendo wa ima nawaambiaga work out authority work out acceptance imam unaona kanisani mtu anaongea ovyo ovyo na nini haleluya unajua Ah uh, watu wengine itabidi uabiwe mtubishi ni nani ndio ujue some things sometimes tunakaribiana and people and i feel ni kama watu wanaelewa physical hawaja tafsiri spiritual that's why mwanamke aliyetoka na ndamu alisema if i only touch his garment i'll be whole na wengine wamemzoea hata wanakula na yeye to ha hata nguo zigeponya kwa wengine hata wanaosha nguo zake na hawajui zinabeba power may god help us to discern i say may god help us to discern <laughs> hallelujah disciple saying jesus kuna kitu tumegudua kwa maana ni wewe kwa maana ni yesu alikuwa amewatuma na akawaambia vile wataenda na ni wapi wataenda so they are saying we are Obeyed you, and demons obeyed us. Mm. Are you understanding? Could you have a brother? In kitu about you need to discover in the spiritual realm. So my only issue, we are going to be going to go. Now, Mr. Don't make me dance with you, Sana. When we are dancing with you, Abba, praise him today. The praise was good. We pray the Umbari Kiwe. That means we are funike. Haya, that's a big. A great big number of people. Au ni au ni agaria tu no problem ni agaria tu. <laughs> Sasa this was our saying this. Kristo aliwatuma kabia nina watuma. And then na muenda hivi na muongea hivi. Wakaenda. They obeyed, they kept the instructions. Uh, are you understanding? Wali ka hapo tu wewe. Wali ti mapepo nao ikawati. I want to tell you how his name works. Amen. Before his name's work through you, you must subject yourself under him. Ni mamlaka utati nayo yako, eh? You obey the authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Dio manya mamlaka kuaminia mamlaka uyatumie Leo nikiwa rafiki sana I'll tell you that later kuna kitu kiko nikiwa rafiki sana 
wa president kuna mahali itafika aniambie i would like to trust you with something i would like to trust you mother authority na wewe ndio takuwa ukisimamia cdf kama manager hello what do happen anybody akitaka my cdf hapa ndako katimo i trust him nilimtegemea nikajua moyo wake kwa hivyo whatever he does for me is final that is how you use the name of jesus hii mambo ya kwa na hii kitu you need to understand it hutamuka tu siji mnaita mama boga mama mama chuma nini mae mwechiganga imeandikwa katika jina lake utakambia hapo listen it's okay hiyo jina hujalifanyia kazi mwenye jina hamjaogea mwenye jina hamjakuwa na yeye mwenye jina hata haujakagua how he works mwenye jina hujakagua huja his authority haujamti hata ibada unachelewa tuliabua sijui tuamini hivi you want to use his name but jesus hallelujah obey jesus and demons you obey you in jesus name now let's finish this part bible nasema i come it it tamani za leo ukiangalia script nasema hivi mapepo imetuti so to tuma eh we discovered demons are obeying us are obeying us when we use your name not because of us but because of the one who sent us and then verse 18 says akawaambia nalimuona shetani akianguka kutoka binguni praise the lord kristo akarudi asema hivi tazama verse 18 nimewapa mhm mm Hallelujah. Nimewapa mamlaka kwenye anga nyoka na nge hiyo akasema. But let's see verse 20. Musifulahi kwa vile pepo wanavyowati. Bali fulahini kwa sababu majina yenu yameandikwa mbinguni. Haya, nataka mniambie, shetani alionekana akianguka kutoka wapi? Eh? kutoka binguni. Haya, na hao wanaambiwa majina yao yameandikwa wapi? Binguni. Ukiangalia hii heaven, let's look at this. Now, mhm. Now, <clears throat> kuna wakati unafika in heaven your name is cleared hiyo tutaiongea ibada ingine your name is cleared let me just say this the other day president alichagua general army asema na huyu sijui anaitwa nani msao jina asema huyu die sasa mkuu wa nini wa jeshi si alitwa jina si akona jina akasema taito yake ni hii jina lake ni hii ukienda state house kuna mahali pameandikwa na huyu die mkubwa wa jeshi akienda kutawala jeshi ni kama hapo hivi usifurahi tu kwa sababu anakutii issue sio uwaja issue ni mahali jina lako lilipitishwa na ukapewa kazi are you understanding now eko mashika hiyo haleluya have you ever known now today okwa cabinet secretary who chooses you is it public or president ni wapi kuna maana sana 
Is that where your name is written? Hello? Who will keep you in work? Ni wanainchi au ni mwekuwajiri? Haya, do you know leo ni kia ni kwa kabe secretary? Lazima ni yenda na policies za mwenye kuniajiri. Nikieda ni aze kufanya kazi vya nataka. Au differ with where the name is written. Au differ with where the name is written. And the one who wrote the name. Are you understanding? Hello? Buwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Ni wabia siku moja zamani. As we finished now. Kuna umenes alikuwa na ituwa JJ Kamodho. Kamodho alikuwa mtu wa moi kabisha. Wale mniku wego. Ni mtu wa kutingiza nyayo. Kamodho. Watu wakagema. Mukikosa kumuchagua. Alipo ageangalia hona kula ni kurazaka singi mzuri mchuki ya nachukua. Anaenda street house. Street house. Kitabo kagema mutagaze mchuki DMP. Kitabo kagema mutagaze mchuki DMP. Nae kutoka state house Kama adho hana tagazi wa kwa ba Diye minister wa higher education Mishuke kienda buge Kama adho hana kagema na bedera Alibaba one time Marirudi ya kasema Nimepea getuge girls school bus Nimepea Keru boys A full furnished Laboratory from Japan Nimepea Sijui wa hodora Stima kutoka kakedo Aweza watu, sasa Mishuki ya kitaka jabu Ataona nani Now one day Akaja kwetu Kuogosa for raising MP wa kwetu Akaiharibu Kama za hakujari, akarudi The following Tuesday, mimi si jaona Pawa kama hiyo ya sedikari President Moy alikuja Na full cabinet kina muangale, kina uko, Dr. Kitui, Karoso Musioka, you know, they were there. Moi stood up. Mahali kamodho, akasema, nani huyu, alichezea kamodho. Just that. MP ni mwona kwa migu ya moi, and that was the end of that MP. Sija musikia tena, siju kama aliyaka, au aliisha. Na kamodho wakabua arudi Hapo afanye kila likuwa nataka You see Power Kamodho kia lijari ni mahali jinaka lime andi And God is saying Don't worry about what happens there Take care of where the name is written Na mahali mungu aliweka sige sama Na kutoka leo mapepo itakuti Iyo approval mahali liandikwa Keep it Keep it Keep the hallelujah Hallelujah Wakati big with his sema Kutoka leo Jose Wailimo Demons are under you Wewe ni general katika jeshi la kiroho Nimekupa mamulaka haya Mwenye kusema mpendeze Na mahali ya radika dumisha Kwa maana ukienda sana kule Mamulaka haikutoka kule Ilitoka kwa mkubwa Keep the name Mahali kazi lipeanwa Na ukapewa title Na ukaadikwa Na mwenye kuandika dumisha hiyo zaidi Usifurahishwe na uwanja Furahishwa na mwenye kuwanjiri. Usifurahishwa na watu sana. Keep we. Keep the honor of one who sent you. Ukienda. Unasema. Na mimi ni metumo na yesu. Na me niambia ni kija hapa. Nisiyoge mengi. Unakubuka. Kuna kati munga ketumo na mbia mbia. Enda. Usiyoge na mtu jiani. Na usikule. That's the Bible. Nani. Nani. Now what do you do? That's the only thing you do. What matters most is not the people. It's the sender. 
Nenda, usiokera tujiani. Hata ukisalimu, hata kama ni baba yako. Kwa unambi. Rudi. Ambia wanya kutuma. Siku salimia mtu jiani. Siku kuro marindi kutuma. But I get the prophecy. Apendezwe. Utakami ya kayote uko nabi. Kile kimefanya mapasta wa anguke. Ata nye wa shirika. Is that mulitumwa muka kosa kusahau mwenye kukua jidi ni mungu na lipo adika katika orotha ya mahali ya naadika na napea job description where your name is authority and job description is not on earth is in heaven keep that record keep that record let God akwa kwa throne honor that Timo is still preaching that Timo is still righteous that Timo keeping the vision I say keep the name and the job description as it is before the one who chose you na daima utakuwa mtumishi na baada ya kazi he will call you home hallelujah you be able to say like Paul I've finished my course I've kept the faith I've learned the good race I've fought good fight naenda sasa kupeo I'm going back to one who sent me I'm going back to where my name is written I'm going back to report to the one who sent me naenda sasa anipe taji ya haki amen alien nituma narudi kwake anipe taji I say friends Watch out where you came from. Watch out where your name was written. Watch out the one who sent you. Keep his orders and policies. Nataka leo jirudie. Uone. Kuna mamu mingi sana tumefanya ya kujiabia. And that's why okieda kutumia jina na yesu. Demons are not obeying. Can you check your family? Ni mama mangapi mumefanya kama family about it's not si mungu aliwatuma. Ni mama mangapi umefanya kama msichana ambao si mungu alikutuma. Ni mama mangapi umeongea about hatokani na mwenye kuajiri. That's why ukisema useme in the name of Jesus you are not known. You are not known. Na omba, anywhere you go in his name, let demons obey you. Hallelujah. Kwa maana, si kwa sababu ya waja vilo na kaa, ni kwa sababu umedumisha shelia na polices na heshima ya mahali jinalako limeandikwa. May the Lord bless this church. Let's start for prayer. Shaka taraba zinti li libasaya. Wakati umefika wapendwa, Mamulaka ya Kristo ya anze kazi through me and through you. Inuwa mikono yanko mabia God. I want to know. I want to use your name. Sheka taba. Tutaenda na hii lesson katika ibada ya pili. And God you help us to know him. In the name of the Lord. Tunata kuike katika meza ya buwana. Na nikiataka kila mtu atulie. Kila mtu atulie na kila mtu aze kuomba. Mwambie buwana. I want to know Jesus. And the power of his resurrection. Nataka kumujua yeye. Na aza kuwa unajua mengi. Lakini sasa wakati umefika umujua yeye. Alie shida da kifo kwa ajili yako alie shinda giza kwa ajili yako shararababo zenderereba shena lima katarapo sotariba bosanda makasato riba boshaka riba my god i give you praise my king i give you praise kima sheka tarabo shedereba zikarababo zaim and they are but just when you're praying the lord you bless you the lord you lift you in the name of jesus hallelujah Eda tu kuomba, bwana ta kuinua. Mtu Bible inasema. Na usikize. Unaposhiriki mesa ya bwana, ubabanue mwili na damu ya Yesu. Ili upatie hiyo damu heshima yake. Na upatie mwili wa Yesu heshima yake. Ishiwe kwamba sio meza ya Bwana unakula unakula kitu kingine. Oba 
Wapanue kabisa damu ya Kristo inanena nini? Haki ya hiyo damu ina maana Ni nini mwili wa Kristo ulibemba ndio niwekwe huru. Aliposema imekwisha, ni nini Yesu alimaanisha? Ili iwe sasa ni meza ya Bwana unashiriki si mchezo uko naye. Can you close your eyes? Na wanze kuona the fullness of the power of the blood of Christ. Sheka tababa rikata sokarima sikaraba ni damu ya Mungu sio ya kodo sio ya mtu is the blood of God himself. The blood of God himself. Just continue in prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord God is able. The Lord God is able. Just continue in prayer.